Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you're back, of course, welcome back. Today, I am going to be actually sharing a post review with you. And it's a video that I recorded a few weeks ago, but wanted to keep handy as a chance to use for a bonus video for the Summer with the Masters series that I'm doing in collaboration with Jessica over at Tiny Worlds of Wonder. So while the video series has officially come to an end, our event is going through the summer to about mid-July. And we don't want you to forget about us. <laughs> and we certainly want to keep the event excitement going strong because I know we're both still working on kits and thoroughly enjoying seeing what all of you are still working on. So in just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and cut over to the video of the post review. It's a post review of my first finish for this event, Miranda the Tempest. It's a custom I ordered from Uniquely Yours Down Under. I will tell you all about it here in just a moment, but for those of you that happen to stumble in here and haven't heard of this Summer with the Masters event that I'm referring to and might want to take a look at it, I will link to the playlist down below in the description. We'd love to have you. There is still time to join, and if nothing else, you can follow along with, with what everyone is sharing over on Instagram. We still have a grand prize drawing in the works and a big highlight reel and recap video planned for mid-August, so please stay tuned for that. And speaking of prizes, I do need to draw my winner for my week eight video of Summer with the Masters. So I will add that on at the end stay tuned. Um, I can't wait to share more with you. So let's head on over to the original video. Let's take a look at Miranda the Tempest. Today I'm here to share with you a post review of one of my most recent finishes and actually the first finish that I have for the event Summer with the Masters and that is the absolutely beautiful Miranda the Tempest by the artist John William Waterhouse and this is a custom that I ordered from the shop uniquely yours down under <gasps> can we just take a minute and appreciate how beautifully this turned out okay so let me give you a quick rundown of all of the of the stats as it were <laughs> so this is a 50 by 70 centimeter canvas it is on poured glue, and it had a total of 43 colors. I also completed this one in round drills. Now, the shop that I ordered it from, Uniquely Yours Down Under, um, was extremely helpful in the process of choosing a size to have this put in. They were very responsive and very helpful. Um, I sent them this image, which by the way, let me go ahead and pop up the original artwork here so you can take a look and do a little comparison. So I sent them the original artwork from John William Waterhouse, which by the way, since the artwork is from before the year 1926, it is part of the public domain and does not require a license for use. So that's really, really cool. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about the old masters artwork and public domain artwork before the year 1926 and all about ordering a custom right now i'm in the middle of hosting an event called summer with the masters with my friend jessica over at tiny worlds of wonder we're still in the middle of a video series for this event at the moment and would love to have you go and check out some of what we shared so i'll let you check those videos out instead of covering everything over in this video as well but take a look up in the eye for the playlist for our event as well as down in the description below. Now, back to this kit. So, um, like I said, Jennifer over at Uniquely Yours Down Under was very helpful and responsive. I sent her this artwork and she sent me back some mock-up renderings in a few different sizes for me to choose. Um, this is actually the smallest of the sizes that she had sent over. I knew that I was gonna be working on multiple canvases for the event and didn't wanna to go too big. And I thought, okay, 50 by 70, sure, let's do that. 
You also have the option of choosing if you'd like poured glue or double-sided adhesive on your canvas. And you can choose if you'd like round or square drills. I thought the price point was absolutely fantastic. Um, part of it was probably because of the, um, the value of the US dollar to the Australian dollar because uniquely yours down under, they're based in Australia. <laughs> um, but I paid just under $50 in total US dollars after shipping for this piece, which I thought was super reasonable, super reasonable. And that was without a discount code. So um, I was really, really happy with that. Uh, it arrived probably, I think like three weeks from the time that I ordered, which again, really happy with that kind of turnaround time. And overall, the quality on it was really nice. I thought the canvas was a pretty nice material. It wasn't super stiff or super soft. Um, it has been holding up nicely and staying pretty flat. I did notice that the edges are fraying a bit. You know, they're not surged or anything like that. I'm not too, too worried about it. Like there's not actual like big strings coming off or anything. There's just a couple little fuzzy bits. So I might be interested to see if they could, you know, maybe they could do just a small upgrade to their canvases. Just, just an idea. Um, I thought that the drill quality was really great. The, speaking of the drill quality, let me show you. I have plenty of leftover drills in every color. So here are my leftover drills. And these are all just, you know, like when you, <laughs> when you pour your drills like back into the container from the tray and then inevitably like there's one stuck in there or whatever. These, are, these aren't even like the trash drills. These are just like the miscellaneous drills that I would find and be like, I'm just sticking that in there. <laughs> so again, the drill quality was really fabulous. Really, really, really good. Um, the colors were nice um and matched i think the painting overall pretty well there was one thing i was uh, i would maybe recommend them changing let me show you it's not going to look probably as drastic when i show them side by side here these two symbols when they were on the canvas were extremely similar so even though the printing on the canvas itself was pretty clear um it did seem like these two symbols I really needed the right lighting or to use a light pad to be sure that I was interpreting the symbol correctly. I'll pop up a picture on the screen of what this looked like on the canvas and keep in mind that typically things will actually look clearer through a camera lens. So while it might look pretty clear in this picture, it was a little fuzzier in person. So it was not a deal breaker. I just had to make sure that I was using the right kind of lighting to be able to distinguish between the two symbols. Honestly, not a big deal. Now let's talk about the rendering on this kit. So <laughs> I picked, I think probably kind of a difficult piece to have turned into a diamond painting. From a distance, I think that it actually turned out absolutely beautifully. I think you can absolutely tell, even at this size, 50 by 70, um, I think that you can tell what original artwork it's modeled after. I'm going to go ahead and pop up a picture of the original art here again for you guys to do a little comparison of. Um, something though that is was just really interesting and sort of different about working on this piece is that when I was working up close on it, particularly in this section, with the ocean and up here with the rocks um it was i had no idea what i was working on it was completely indistinguishable let me bring you guys down and i'll show you kind of what that's like so if we come down and look at it here take you for a little ride it's just a bunch of gray and blue drills um it even looks better through the camera than it does in person you're like oh that looks like a wave this, there we go, here's our little like or here. Um, when you're up close like this, even here in the rocks, it just doesn't look like a whole lot. <laughs> it comes together as you pull it back. Um, same up here, just all of these gray waves. Here's a close up of her face and hair. And you can see that even given that they didn't have a ton of drills to work with, 
I think they still did a really nice job. I think they did a really, really nice job. I love the reds in her hair and the blues in her dress. I thought that was really, really lovely. And then we have our ship over here. Here's our close up. And there's that. So this artwork just really spoke to me. I knew that I wanted to get this as a custom and I feel like the end result still really conveys that sort of just wistful, like evocative emotion. Um, I am happy with the finished effect, but one, so I think that they did a nice job with the rendering is kind of my point. I think that they, for a piece like this, the rendering was really nice. I think that they <laughs> interpreted things like waves in a crashing ocean <laughs> and rocks really really well um i learned after ordering this and watching one of jessica's videos for the old masters series i was like oh this is the kind of artwork that i think she kind of recommends that you don't necessarily get as a diamond painting unless you get it in a really big size to get all that detail because it's hard to render things like water. <laughs> it's actually the same in like film animation, fire and water are really difficult to render well. Anyway, that was kind of a tangent, but all this to say, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled with the job that Uniquely Oris Down Under did with this piece. I am 100% planning to order a custom from them again because I think they did such a great job. Um, really, really, really happy with it. I have mixed emotions about this piece, but it's completely a personal thing. It's a Katie problem. It's not a uniquely or sound under problem or a John William Waterhouse problem. Um, this piece I found to be kind of tedious to work on. And I've been sitting on it for a little while because uh, it took me over a month to finish. Granted, I was working on other projects at the same time, but I had such a hard time feeling like I wanted to reach for this one. And even like, these are round drills. Like it should take me less time than my square drill projects, but it just felt like each section was taking me four times as long as the same size section in, a, in one of my square drill kits I was working on. I think so there was a decent amount of confetti, but more than that, I think it's just because again, there's not a whole lot to this piece in terms of like things to work on when diamond painting. It's like there's water, there's rocks, and then there's like an eighth of the piece is Miranda, which ever, anytime I was working on her like this, I was like, oh yeah, I, I love working on this part and some of the blues in her dress. But then even like the ship is all still browns. <laughs> so I think the color palette just fatigued me. I think it just fatigued me and there wasn't a lot of short term payoff in 75% of this piece. Like I would work on this section and then I'd step back and be like, oh, it's waves. <laughs> so I think that this was a learning experience for me as well. While this is a print, while this is a piece that I absolutely would like hang in my home in a heartbeat, I didn't enjoy working on it as a diamond painting as much as I expected to, which is a bummer. It is what it is. I still enjoyed it, but I was expecting to really, really love it. And I loved it, but I didn't really, really love it. I'm just, I wanna to be totally clear that this is on me and not even remotely on Uniquely Yours Down Under or the artwork itself. It just, yeah, it was a learning experience. I'll take it as that. I'm really, really happy that I worked on this piece and that I completed it and get to share it with you guys, especially as an example of look at how lovely a job Uniquely Yours Down Under did with this piece. No, I'm not an affiliate for them. I wasn't asked to give a glowing review. I truly am happy with how my, this is my very first custom I've ever ordered, ever in a, over a year of diamond painting. And I loved the experience. I was really nervous about it going into it. So I was so happy at how easy they made it and just the overall quality across the board. So I'm definitely going to be ordering a custom from them again. Now, if you're interested, as I've been sharing my progress on this piece over on Instagram, it's 
it's been fairly popular in terms of there's lots of people saying that artwork looks beautiful and the quality seems to be really good. Can I order that same piece from Uniquely Yours Down Under? And I said, well, of course, like it's this piece is part of the public domain, like have at it. That's what this artwork is there for. Um, and it was popular to the point that um, the owner, Jennifer, actually added um, this as a prepackaged kit option. So you can go over to the website. I'll link the listing below. Um, you can go over to the website and you can get this exact kit. She's also added several other old masters um, to her website. Uh, there's a whole sub, sub section of old masters artists and she's adding new artists regularly and new pieces regularly. So definitely go and check that out. Some of the pieces that she's offering are really, really beautiful and I'd love to see some of you work on those. So I think that's really it for this one. I would love to hear your thoughts just overall on the different things I've, I've shared about. Do you like the overall finished effect? Is this something you might want to try? I hope that if you're like I was, where you feel intimidated by the idea of doing a custom, that maybe now it feels a little bit more accessible to you. I definitely recommend taking that step outside of your comfort zone and giving it a try. Like I said, I thought the price point was really great and the experience overall was fabulous. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, let me know if you have ordered a custom for the Old Masters event and what your experience with that has been like. But okay, so let me just hop in here and let's do this prize drawing. This is from week eight of summer with the masters, like I mentioned earlier in the video. And I have this really fabulous accessories bundle that I'm going to be giving away. These two bricks of patty wax, which are both based on old masters pieces, Sunflower Medley and Soul of the Rose. Um, these were so generously donated to us by Robin over at Patty Wax. She designed these scents to go with our event. And I'm so appreciative of that. Robin also sent over this Mona Lisa cover minder for us to share with you all. I am including a couple of rolls of washi tape from my stash that have not been used. And you will also be getting this dark glittery blue tray from JH Envision Lab. I'm gonna link to the shops that have partnered with us during this event and would love for you to go and check them out. Take a look in the description, there will be a list there and lots of these shops have discount codes that they have so generously shared with us as well. Now, without further ado, I am so excited to announce that the winner for this week and this fabulous accessories package is Catherine Baldwin. Congratulations, Catherine. Catherine commented and said, this entire series has been so interesting. Thank you. I've bought quite a few pre-packaged kits and still plan to order a custom soon. I loved seeing the completed masterpieces you both highlighted on YouTube. Thanks for all of your time and effort. Oh, thank you so much, Catherine, and thank you for participating and congratulations. Please take a look over on that video at your comments. I'm gonna leave further instructions for you there so we can coordinate getting this prize pack over to you. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for us, but wanted to thank you again for watching this video, for being a part of the Summer with a Master series with us. I hope that you are still enjoying it as much as we are, and um, be sure to share the projects that you're working on over on Instagram with the hashtag Summer with the Masters. I'm really, really enjoying watching all the different projects that you guys are working on. It's kind of enabling me to want to order all kinds of other customs and pieces. So I officially blame you. <laughs> all right, friends, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a thumbs up before you head on out. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And you can also hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I share new videos, which is usually a few times a week. All right, friends, I hope you have a really, really wonderful day and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.